Let's see the back in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. And yeah, I think we can uh, agree on one thing in fandom, right? I think we can. We, we we've always had arguments in fandom, not not like we've had over the last few years, but we've always had disagreements in fandom. However, I think we can always uh, all come together with one. Base. Actually, there's two things we can we, we can agree on on Fandom now. One, uh, Millie Gibson is insanely hot. I mean, just insanely hot. And, and, and two, she's too young to be insanely hot. But I don't know what to do about it. I'm only flesh and blood, mate. Uh, uh, yeah, why I mention Millie Gibson? Because she's always on my mind now. <laughs> but yeah, the thing, the main thing that uh, we can agree on is Peter Capaldi is freaking awesome. He's absolutely awesome. Uh, he just won a, uh, was it, uh, not a Lifetime Achievement Award, a... Uh, 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 lifetime contribution award at the at the Scottish Baftas, uh, and so Peter Capaldi was speaking. Now I'm actually thinking that he's finding the Shooty Gatwa casting somewhat cathartic right now because yeah, I, I never saw him together with with Jodie Whittaker after, after he left the role, uh, and uh, I think that's because that he was essentially fired by the BBC. He was fired because he wasn't, you know, uh, uh, he was a bit too white and a bit wit, uh, a bit too male. So they that just wouldn't do at all, I'm afraid. So no, uh, and I think he was that, that crushed him. I think it hurt him. I think he he loves Doctor Who. I think he loves the role. I think it's clear from his performance at how much he loves and understands Doctor Who. And I think it was even more crushing of how uh, um yeah you know, yeah how not Doctor Who what what he was thrown away for was, right? I think that was really like, you know, world shakingly bad for him. So I think he was very, very damaged by by the whole thing. Uh very professional, very gracious in public, always very, very gracious, but uh, I think he was significantly hurt. Uh, uh, yeah, and I think that's why he's always poured cold water on the idea of coming back to Doctor Who. Because I think he was, you know, just uh, um, stabbed it, stabbed in the heart by it. So it, I noticed during this speech that he gave, where he, when he got the ball, we're going to watch the speech, his acceptance speech, which is brilliant, right? I noticed during this that there was a genuine uh, softening to uh, the idea of, of Doctor Who. Like a genuine, like a, a more of a love... Uh, um, Tight feeling with it, right? A general softening, you know. Uh, so uh, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's actually somebody suggested this in the comments that he's finding Shooter's uh, casting somewhat cathartic because I think he can see that that how Shooty is going to be the essence of Doctor Who, and I think he feels like he's handed over, right? Like I think he feels like he's had a proper handover now, and he can move on, which means he might be willing to come back, right? He might. Be, I doubt he's going to come back to Big Finish. I mean, look, they cast Jake Dubbin as the twelfth Doctor. Uh, I, I can't see him not being pissed off by that, especially as you know. Listen, don't get me wrong. I thought uh, uh, Jonathan Carey as uh, John Hurt, freaking incredible, right? It's much harder to pull off Capaldi. I don't know. It just uh, uh, Capaldi. It's unique and excellent, and it was a uh, um, a very layered, thought out performance. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, it, was he going to come back, Doctor? Who? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, you know, Shooty. Maybe. Uh, um, uh, Rusty Davis is is talking around for the sixtieth. Wouldn't that be one? I mean, I just would love to see him again. Frankly, I'd love to see like a four, six part Doctor Who miniseries with him, which is the sort of thing Rusty Davis was talking about doing. I can only hope it's going to happen. Anyway, anyway, uh, uh, that's for another day. We're going to watch the acceptance speech says again. It is fantastic. Before we get into it, like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for doing those things. I genuinely, genuinely thank you. I'm very, very touched. Uh, uh, and yeah, genuinely grateful. It really, really helps me. If you haven't subscribed, if you can consider doing that's great. Uh, I'm on I'm on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, sign up on my Substack. It's in the email newsletter. It's my, it's my email newsletter in the video notes. The email newsletter is not in the video notes. The link to the sign up for the email newsletter is in the video notes. I got a bit surrealist for a second. But yeah, these things happen. Like, share, subscribe, comment, sign up my Substack. Now, let me hand over to me from my life. This was on November 22nd, but that's how my live stream last night. It's a few minutes long, but I thought, yeah, maybe he'll be speaking at some point. Thank you. Um... Thank you so much. Thank you, Phyllis. That's a lovely surprise. And uh, the pavilion wants its costume back for Aladdin. 
Um, I don't know how to follow that. It's amazing. And uh, Armando, I just like I'm, I'm. I'm so sorry, Armando can't be here tonight. Uh, I'm glad that. He by the way, by the way, big recommend is uh, Avenue Five. I'm just uh, it's on episode seven right now of uh, um, uh, season two. Uh, uh, it's very, very good. Big recommend. It's done by Amanda. It's done by the uh, the thick of it guys, right? And basically, everything they do, I think, is very, very good. So yeah, I think they have quite. I, I like everything they've done. He's confounding the racial stereotype uh, of Scottish Italians. It makes me put me in my mind of my parents. I wish they could be here tonight, but uh, they were short-staffed in the chip shop. Um, <laughs> But truly, they did. They, they taught me everything I know, the real Scottish virtues of hard work and sarcasm, uh, <laughs> which have got me through. Outstanding contribution to film and TV, I don't know. I think this is really an award for uh, getting lucky, for being lucky enough to be born in Scotland. Well, OK, as I tell you, he's partly right, but you've got to have the goods as well, right? Yeah, it's very rare the uh, universe lines up for you. Right, it's very rare that happens, but when it does, if you're not ready to uh, 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 give the goods, you're not ready. And he, uh, thankfully, Peter Capaldi was absolutely ready. Into a family of immigrants from Ireland and Italy. <laughs> Lucky enough to meet so many people along the way who changed my life. Bill Forsyth. 40 years ago, I was just up here, an art student, living off pakora and lager for breakfast. <laughs> Bill Forsyth scooped me up and put me in Local Hero. It was an act of kindness and confidence that baffled me. Man, I forgot he was in that. Boy, he was young. Was that like, that must have been his first role. Oh, he was excellent, man. Holy crap. Yeah, it's incredible, really, when you, when you see his career go all the way back, right? I so forgot he was in Local Hero. Oh, man, here, one second. I want to uh, uh, see if we can find a picture of him in it. One second. Peter Capaldi, Local Hero. Great little uh, movie, Local Hero. It was like, uh, what was it, one of the David Putnam ones? Uh, there he is, man. Uh, he's very young. <laughs> Let me see if I get that picture for you. One second. Uh, small. Yeah, I'll do. One second. Just uh, share screen. Doink. There you go. Oh, again, a bit low raised, but yeah, boy, I forgot. He, I, he's got that whole early young part of his career where apparently he was up for the 96 Doctor Who movie. Um, as well, or he, or he, did, he decided not to go for it or, or something along those lines. I can't remember. He's not one. I, the only the auditions I saw was Tony Slattery. Uh, um, Tony Slattery. Oh, what's the other guy? Uh, John Sessions, uh, I can't remember. Tony Slattery and John Sessions is the only two I can remember off the top of my head. They were a bunch of, right? They were a bunch of, they were, that was that book. That, uh, there was a good book written by Gary Butt Russell about the uh, 96 movie. Cool. When, when it was like, thought it might be the pilot, right? So it was called Doctor Regeneration. Uh, uh, if you can find it, I think it's like, way out of print now, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and much of the industry <laughs> to this day. But I wouldn't be here without him, uh, and nor would a lot of others. Yeah. Armando, fabulous, fabulously gifted, wonderful, kind um, Armando. By the time I'd met him, I had had some ups and downs. I'd been dropped from the, the best series of Trollerman. Uh, uh, when I used to do the voiceover, and I was thrown overboard uh, <laughs> in favour of Ken Stott. 
And then I was down to doing the voice for um, uh, Scotland's Top Dogs. <laughs> so things were going okay, but not as well as I might have liked. So when I went to the audition for The Thick of It and Armando said to me, there's no dates, there's no stars, there's no actual script, and would you like to improvise something? I had that look on my face. That was basically to him to fuck the fuck off. <laughs> Which, as it turned out, was the right vibe to bring into the room. <laughs> he gave me the job and it changed my life. Scott, uh, Stephen Moffat, yes, I did meet him for the first time at the Scottish BAFTAs. He had a kind of lost look about him. I thought that might be just because he was from Paisley and it was, <laughs> it was quite, a, quite a big do, you know. Um, but actually he was looking for something. I didn't know whether it was for a place to stick his wee cocktail stick from his BAFTA chipolata, but no, he was looking for a new Doctor Who. I, I mean, like, I, I'll tell you. Boy, can he can he give a speech? <laughs> yeah, you want him for your wedding, right? It's worth having. Like, I mean, he'll be. I tell you, I'd love to see doc, the doctor as somebody's best man. Yeah, <laughs> that would be crazy. Well, they kind of did that with the Sherlock Holmes story. What's the one where Sherlock Holmes is the best man? And off we went, and he took me on the most magical journey, a journey that Shitty is about to embark on, and I suspect. <clears throat> Shooty knows this already because I can see it in his heart and see it in him. But he's about to discover how beautiful and wonderful and cosmic the human race can really be. Woo! I think it's really cool. I mean, again, there's so much of Peter Capaldi in that portrayal of Doctor Who. And there was, that was so the archetypal Doctor Who. Right? It, was cra it was crazy how Doctor Who-y that Doctor Who was. And also, he'll be able to spot an anorak in his peripheral vision <laughs> at 50 yards, and he'll have to figure out what to do. Uh, so thank you, Stephen, for that. There's so many people I'd like to thank, but I can't because A, we don't have time, and B, they're not really famous, so you don't care. <laughs> um, it does bring me, make me reflect about all the help I've received from friends, colleagues, those who've encouraged me along the way, people who were kind, people who just gave me me the time of day and it's a timely reminder that we all have a duty to help those trying to start out to extend a hand um. man i miss his doctor who okay i get it in fans that i just miss his doctor who right uh, uh a great coherent ramble says darren m yeah i, I mean it's get he's not a million miles away from his doctor and there's just not enough of it. I'm sorry. There just isn't. We needed another two seasons, right? I mean, that was just, it was, we only, we only started like you know, exploring him properly, but in the second se season, right? We didn't even get into, we, we should have had a good couple of years without, with, with, uh, uh, without Clara moving forward, right? Uh, I think that would have been much better. It was it was a real bummer. It was a real bummer we didn't get more. But please don't send me your tapes. I'm so busy at the moment. <laughs> um, it's been so amazing to work with so many heroes, Terence Davis, James Gunn, James Gandolfini. Um, but it's all about uh, people and the people you love and the people who are around you. What movie um, is with James Gandolfini? I, am I going on too long? One second, I've got this up. Peter Capaldi. Hang on. Peter Capaldi, James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini. In the Loop! Yeah, you go. That was a weird movie. I like that movie. But it was like the thick of it from a parallel universe. So it's the same and different. You can go as long okay, as you want. All right. Uh, no, I won't, I won't. I'll be over in a minute. I'll be over in a minute. I just want to see uh, about actors. Actors are brilliant. Um, and it's great when you get an award and it's all like this and everything's going really well. But uh, for a lot of actors, it's not going well. Uh, and from day to day, from week to week, it can be really tough. And you can't Oops, get. Uh, uh, through the door and you can't get out the door sometimes. Uh, 
So I just want them to, to, to know that sometimes the stars align and you get lucky and that's what happened to me. You know what? Oh, man. I mean, he's right, but he also has the goods, right? He, I mean, like, it, 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 how good is he? It's worth sitting through uh, um, the devil's hour just to get to more of him. Like, I can't, because I'm just re watching his scenes now, right? Now I, now I know what's going on. I think I might enjoy it a lot more. Uh, I mean, he's fantastic. So finally, I'm just about to go, my wonderful agent, Kate Morrison at B-Side, thank you, you're absolutely brilliant. Uh, all the team at the Devil's Hour, thank you so much for all that wonderful work. All the team on Criminal Record who had a riot last night. To my dear friends and loved ones, particularly my sister Stella, Sissy, Dan, the glory and infant phenomenon, Finlay, my darling wife Elaine, it's your strength, kindness, wisdom and love that's enabled me to have this career. Show business, doesn't it? I mean, I guess it might be a showbiz couple. You've always been there through all the ups and downs, and that you chose to share your life with me is the greatest luck of all. So thank you very much. Thank you, BAFTA. And thank you. Went on to say how he liked uh, uh, not Britney Spears. Tyler, is it Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. <laughs> same thing. Same difference. Same difference. My name's Taylor Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.